Hello everybody. Today's dish is going to be a spicy shrimp and sausage pasta. So ingredients needed, we're gonna start off with some sausage. I have spicy impossible sausage here. You can use regular real meat sausage if you like. I have some scallions, some tomatoes, heavy whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, some linguine pasta. I have some broccoli, which is frozen. Seasonings, I have thyme, smoked paprika, onion powder, crushed red pepper flakes, a parsley flake, garlic powder, salt, black pepper. This is some all-purpose seasoning, which I'll be seasoning my shrimp with right here. A scotch bonnet pepper, onion, garlic, some thyme, and you'll also need some water and some oil. I'm also gonna need some bell peppers for this, and I'm only using these three here. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is tie out my shrimp and uh, season it with the all-purpose seasoning and then chop up all my ingredients. So a pot, fill it up with some water and I've already salted this, but we're gonna add some salt to it and then add in your pasta. So I'm gonna add in the whole box of that linguine. And I'm just going to allow it to sit out of the pot like that and while the heat cooks it down i'm going to just bend it into the water just like that and you're going to cook this anywhere between seven to eight minutes until it's al dente all right so this broccoli is frozen what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it in the microwave as it stays here on the um packaging but instead of cooking it for three to four minutes i'm only going to cook it for two minutes since i'll be adding it to my dish and this is what my seasonings are looking like i use about two scallions a small onion and that whole um hot pepper and i'm not too sure if i mentioned but thyme as well this is the consist this is the thickness that i want them at so i'm going to set these aside my frozen broccoli is done in the microwave and like i said i only cook them for two minutes instead of the four so that when i do place them into the dish they won't be too soft my pasta is done cooking so i have it over here i'm just resting it to the side um we're just gonna leave this over here until i'm ready to add it into our dish so this is our impossible sauce uh, what i'm gonna do with this is i'm just gonna chop it up into more manageable pieces so it is still semi-frozen but it should slice easily so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna slice it into these diagonal pieces and then place them in a bowl, just like that. And this is what they're looking like. All right, so the shrimp that you saw before, I did wash it and clean it with lemon and water. What I'm gonna do now is just season it. I'm using my chief all-purpose seasoning. I'm not doing anything actually too fancy today. Just gonna season this up with this, mix it in. And this is actually a lot of seasoning, so it should be very flavorful. Alright, and to this, I'm just gonna add a little bit of um, cayenne pepper. That isn't in my ingredient list, but I do want to make it a little bit on the spicy side, so just to ensure that, I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper in a generous amount, as well as some of my red pepper flakes. Okay, and set that off to the side. The tomatoes you saw earlier, I'm using Roma tomatoes. You can use any tomato that you like. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to chop them up into uh, cubes. I don't really like using tomato paste, so this is just going to be a nice base. I'm going to pretty much just cook these down, um, and it'll also give it a nice sweet taste as well. I'm just gonna chop them and chop them into those cubes that you see there. All right, so first things first, we're gonna start off with cooking our sausage. So I'm going to get a, a pan, turn it on, let it get nice and hot, and then add some oil. When your oil is nice and hot, you can add in your sausages. And 
And you're going to cook these until they are fully cooked and nice and brown on both sides. Alright, so my sausages are done. As you can see, they're nicely done. So I'm going to just take it off of the stove and out of the pan and just place them in another dish by themselves. And um, as you can see, I didn't place them in a paper towel lined bowl or anything because I want them to keep the greasiness. Next, I'm going to cut the bowl that I will be making the pasta in and this is what I'm going to make my shrimp in. So I'm going to turn it on and turn my flame to low and when it gets hot, throw some oil inside of the pot. Alright, so now I'm going to add in some oil. Then you can add in your shrimp. And I'm trying to avoid adding in the liquid because that's not needed. I'm going to cook this for about a minute and a half to two minutes on each side. We'll be adding it back into the pot at the end so they don't need to be completely 100% cooked. Very and easy like that. I'm going to take it off and put them into a bowl and set it to the side. Now to the leftover oil. I'm going to add a little bit more oil to this. And allow it to warm up for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go in with my onion. Salmon. The hot pepper. And the thyme. I'm going to allow this to saute for about one minute. Now I'm going to add in my garlic. Mix that in as well. And you can let this cook for another minute. Next, I'm going to add in those tomatoes. If you wanted, you can use tomato paste, but I just am not a fan. I'm going to mix that in. Before I do that, I'm going to add in some seasoning. So I'm going to add in some black pepper. And a little bit of salt. to cook down for about seven to ten minutes just to break down the tomatoes a little bit all right so it's been ten minutes now as you can see the tomatoes have broken down so i'm just going to kind of help the process of mushing them down a bit I'm going to add in my peppers and my broccoli to this. And then add in the broccoli. Alright, so now I already added salt and black pepper to the tomatoes. So I'm going to go in there with the rest of my seasonings, which are some onion powder. garlic powder I'm going to add a little bit more of the cayenne pepper because I did want to make this spicy 
in addition to the hot pepper that's in there. Some crushed red pepper, uh, crushed red pepper, the red pepper flakes. A little bit of the smoked paprika. And now mix that in. And I can see that my thyme uh, stems no longer have the leaves on it, so I'm going to remove it now. I'm going to allow this to fry up in here for about another minute to a minute and a half. Alright, so now I'm going to add in my cream, and this is one cup of heavy cream. And actually, I'm going to add just a little bit more. So let's say I'm going to make it one and a half cup. I'm just eyeballing. And allow this to come up to a semi boil Now is the time that you can taste your mixture here to make sure that it has enough seasoning and enough flavor to your liking. You can see now the mixture here is boiling, so I'm gonna go in now and add the cheese. And this is Parmesan cheese, if I didn't say before. Usually I would grate my cheese, but I'm really not in the mood for it today. So I'm gonna use two cups of cheese, which is probably gonna be the whole bag. And I'm gonna kind of slowly add it into the mixture here and mix it in in a circular motion to make sure that it melts. This is two cups, and this is all that's remaining in the bag, so I'm just gonna throw it in, so. Two cups of cheese, or if you have a six ounce bag, it'll probably be the whole bag. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna mix in that cheese, circular motion, make sure that it all melts. So now is the fun part. I'm gonna add in my pasta first. And I'm just going to dump it in. And essentially the heat from the sauce should loosen up this pasta a little bit. Right, so I'm gonna use this spoon and this spoon and just mix it in so that all those veggies are mixing with the pasta and it's much easier than struggling with just one now that everything's nice and mixed in I'm going to grab that sausage and the shrimp and toss it in as well And now, for the last step, I'm gonna add in the sausage. You can keep mixing if you like, or just leave it to sit on top however you like it. I want mine all mixed in, so I'm just gonna keep mixing until it looks like how I want it to look. There we go. To make it look nice and pretty, I'm going to add a little bit more parsley on top and also add a little bit more black pepper just for the flavor that it brings. So that's the black pepper there. And I'm going to add some parsley. And overkill with the parsley because it will be mixed in between. And then mix it up. All right. 
have it, a spicy shrimp and sausage pasta.